Uh, my name is Andrew Lee, also known as user, user Fuzzhedo on English Wikipedia. Uh, I am Smithsonian's Wikimedian at large, and I've been working with the Glam Wiki community for, wow, a long time now. So I've actually, uh, in 2010, was at the beginning of Glam when we had Wikimania, no, 20, 2008. We had Glam engagements with Wikimania in 2008. So um, I think in 2023, one of the most interesting things that's happening now is we've actually broken down almost all the main barriers to working with libraries, archives, museums. In fact, in 2023, Wikidata, Wikimedia Commons, Wikipedia, in this age of misinformation and fake news, um, is just seen as one of the best things that's happening on the internet. So it's actually not very hard to get uh, Glam partners to work with us. What I worry about is that, do we have the capacity to actually honor those partnerships and to execute on those things, right? So not only from the administrative standpoint, do we have enough people with the expertise and people from our community to engage with museum curators, librarians, administrators of those places, but do we also have the technical capacity, right? So I think the landscape that we have for our Wikimedia projects was much better three to five years ago than it is now, um, which is really tough to say because we always like to think that technology is marching forward, that as the needs scale, our systems can scale, but in fact, some of the technologies that we're using, especially for things like Wikidata, are using pretty old computer code that hasn't evolved with the hardware and the needs as quickly. So we are actually, in fact, creaking under the load of all the things that we're asking partners to donate to Wikidata or the images to upload to Wikimedia Commons. And we're seeing that year after year, for at least the last few years, our tools are not necessarily being as robust and as accommodating as we'd like them to be. And that things like Wikidata queries, looking at the content that these partners have actually uploaded, it's not as fast or as responsive as we want them to be. So when we are engaging folks like the Smithsonian with 4 million images ready to upload, or for any of those images, we want to enrich them with five or 10 extra pieces of metadata, our databases actually aren't ready to handle that much content, which might be a surprise to folks who aren't watching carefully at the infrastructure that we have. So that's something I worry about, is that the hardest part of the equation, which is convincing museums and libraries to open up their collections, right, to um, have their legal team say, yes, this is CC0 and you can upload it. We've actually overcome that pretty uh, handily in the last few years. Now we worry about the technical infrastructure in absorbing or uploading all that content. Uh, we might not be up to the challenge and we're seeing more and more problems with the pipeline of tools that we have and the actual infrastructure on things like Wikidata or Commons to support that much content. So I think not only from the technical resources side, but administrative resources side, we need more vigilance in these areas to make sure we have the right um, people and the technologies to make this work go forward. Um, at the Wikimania conference we just had, we actually had probably the best summary from Mike Dickinson, who's one of the Wikimedians uh, at large out there saying, if we don't seriously address this, the position of Wikimedia in residence could go away in the next few years because we don't have the capacity to actually honor these content partnerships that at least for the last few years we've been touting as a big benefit to these glam organizations and that's a scary prospect that we actually will not have the ability to fire on these potential uh, projects with these partners um, so that's something I, I hope we can try to address not only on a foundation level from the wikimedia foundation but as a community um, better resource the community to deal with these types of things because right now our affiliates and our other structures in the movement are not well set up to address this challenge. Well spoken. Would you like to speak to possible solutions on the table or responses? Yeah, I mean, some possible solutions to this are for the Wikimedia Foundation to identify some of these community developed tools and to professionalize them, right? To give them full support, to make them more bulletproof, to make them scale, to make sure they have high uptime, right? Um, this is not that unusual. It's not unusual for us to identify parts of our infrastructure that need to be supported on a higher level or on a more serious level and resource those things. Um, but we've never really had that pipeline. We actually have some projects like the technical wishes uh, list, right? There's an exercise we have every year where anyone can propose new projects to be developed. But we've never really had a process to say, hey, help us identify tools you're using that already exist 
that you find are absolutely essential to your job uh, or your tasks that you're doing. And then maybe that's a good signal to the foundation or another chapter that might get funds to help support those tools at a professional level. And that's something that I think was floated at this conference um, in, the last, in the last 24 hours, which I think is a good idea. It's like instead of the technical wish list being something from scratch, have a wish list of, I wish these tools we use today were better supported. And we've never done that feedback exercise. All right. Anything else you'd like to share? If we don't deliver on these three phases of their engagement with us, then we're losing some of our glam opportunities, right? So I, I like to identify these as the three I's, the ingestion of content, the um, innovation in the content, and then measuring the impact of the content, right? So ingestion, like do we have the tools to bring their content into the Wikimedia sphere, whether this is an upload tool like Patty Pan or it's tools to integrate um, their metadata with ours. And then innovation, right? Like what are ways to experience this content that they've uploaded, right? Other than embedding images or metadata into Wikipedia articles, do we have interfaces that allow them to explore and discover content? So we kind of know that Wikimedia Commons search is not very good. It hasn't been good for a long time. Um, the promise of the Wiki Commons query service or structured data on Wikimedia Commons was supposed to increase discoverability, increase the utility, but that is kind of put on hold, right? The structured data across Wikimedia is not an active project right now. Then finally, innovation um, and Im um, impact. How do we get metrics back to the organizations we're collaborating with to say it's worth our time to do this, right? And a lot of our metrics tools are in disrepair, so we can't even show that traffic to these media files they've contributed are monotonically increasing, which they used to see for five, 10 years, but now we've had a big problem with our metrics. So any one of those three things failing would be a challenge. We're seeing all three being a failure right now in terms of ingest tools being weak, um, metrics and impacts tools, tools being weak, and then the innovation, the lack of progress on structured data on commons being a weakness as well. And that's our challenge going forward. Can we resource all three of these areas in a way that makes these content partnerships healthy?